right in this video we're basically done now with the login activity and from the login screen we will arrive at our main activity so let's start coding from the main activity and what we want to look at first is how to create a new contact and then also see a list of all the contacts currently in our database so remember that this is a contacts application and we want to see a list of contacts so the first thing we'll need to do is to be able to create new contacts so i'm going to create a new you can just go to new activity and we're going to create an empty activity and i'm going to call this activity new contact and we're going to say finish we will also create another activity so go to new activity again and use an empty activity and we're going to create an activity called contact list so that will be a list of all my contacts so for now let's just set up or we'll see if we can set up these components so we've got new contact which is a new activity that was created and we've got contact list which is a new activity that we created now so from the main activity we'll have a few buttons here that we're going to set up so let's open up the main activity xml go into the text at the bottom text tab and let's remove this constraint layout and make it a linear layout and i'm going to set the orientation to vertical i'm going to remove this text view there and then let's set the background property there as the color primary light so we have the light color back at the back again uh, let me just remove this okay so now we have a blank application to start with so this will be our main page now you can put a nice picture here or whatever you want uh, for me this video is all or this whole application is all about functionality so let's look at uh, just adding a few buttons here so i'm going to add two buttons on the screen so we're going to have two buttons there on both of them let's zoom in a bit on both of these buttons you can click or select both of them and i'm going to have a left margin of 20 i'll have a right margin of 20 and a top margin of let's say 20 as well now for this button let's make take it a bit more from the top let's make it 50. Uh, and let's say we'll have something like this for this button's top margin let's make it 10. okay so let's say uh, this will be my screen where i get to my application and then now for this remember that we had in our drawable we have a buttons xml so i'm going to use that as the background property so go to the background property on both of the buttons and set it to buttons drawable buttons right so we have those two buttons the first buttons text will be list of contacts and this button there will be create contact so we'll get to from the main screen we'll basically just see the list click on to to see the list of all the contacts and then we will we'll be able to create a new contact so if i go down to the bottom i'm going to set that to bold let's select both of them uh, where is it now i'm going to set them both to bold then go down again set the color to hash one two three four five six f's and then that is the buttons so we've got list of contacts and create contact now for this list of contact let's set up the button the btn the id there so i'm going to say btn list and this one will be btn create so we have two buttons one will that, that will take me to the list of all the contacts which will be contact list and this one will take me to new contact to create a new contact so let's set up these two components in the main activity quickly so this one is called btn list that one is called btn create so we're going to say button btn list btn create then let's set up these buttons so it's going to be btn list equals find the view by its id and then the same for btn create we're gonna sorry first find the view by its id r.id.btn create right so we have uh, both of the buttons linked up so we're going to say btn list dot set the on click listener and for btn create we will also say set the on click listener as new on click listener okay so what we want to do then if we move from btn list 
uh, we want or when we click on btn list we want to go to contact list this activity so we're just going to say start activity and on that activity we'll say new intent we are currently in the main activity so the context is main activity dot this and then the second argument will, we, will be where we want to go so in this case we want to go this is btn list so we're going to go to contact list so it's contact list dot class okay so we'll do exactly the same line i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it here and instead of saying contact list dot class when we click on btn create we will go to new contact dot class right and that's basically it for the main activity so the main activity will basically show two buttons there you can add a nice picture there at the top or whatever you want to do there if we click on list of contacts it will go to contact list if we click on create contact it will go to new contact okay so just to make sure that everything is fine and is running let's see if we can run that on the virtual device so this is where we we left off the last time we will go to the main activity which is this one that should now have two buttons right so the application is launching it's logging us in automatically and then we will arrive at the main activity list of contacts will go to the list of contacts or the contact list activity create contact will go to create contact okay so let's go and set up the layout files for these two so let's go to create new contact first right so for the new contact we want to basically ask the user a few questions here to create a new contact and we'll basically just ask what's the name what's the number and what is the email address of a new contact that we want to add then as soon as we click on create a new contact we want to have that progress bar shown again so i just want to remind you again of the website this one there bit.ly back in this training will take you to this website or just type that and you can go and open up progress bar example so download that word document again that's the one i'm opening up now and you'll see there's the layout file so i'm going to copy that whole layout again so that we don't need to to retype this the whole time i'm going to go back to android studio into the text part remove everything of the new contact xml file and i'm going to paste my coding there just uh, remember to remove that part because that's where we, our layout will come right and then for this layout i'm going to set the background as primary light so if you go back to design you'll see uh, basically a clear background but you can see that these two components are on your layout and we will use them later on so now let's drag in a few components we want to go to a few edit texts so i'm going to ask the user to enter his name so i'm going to use a plain text one i'm going to drag it into that login form so that's the, the plain text one. Then I want to have a telephone number. So I'm going to drag in the phone one directly after it. And then I'll have an email. So we drag in the email one just after that one. Now you can see there's the three edit texts. I'm going to click on all three of them. Uh, or select all, of, all three of them. You can do them individually as well. And I'm going to set the margins on the left to 20. The right 20. And maybe the top. 10. now for this one i'm going to make the top a bit bigger so let's make it 20 to move it down a bit even more let's make it 30. right now for this one there's text in it so we're going to remove the text and then we're going to go down to the hint properties so we go down to hint and the hint for the first one will be please enter contact name just use the escape button on your keyboard to take away the autocomplete and then you can click enter. Please enter contact name. The hint for this one will be please enter contact number. And the one for that one will be please enter contact email. Then we're going to select all three of them again. And make sure that we set the gravity property to be center horizontal. All right, then the next component that we'll add to the screen will be a button. Uh, so let's just add it there at the bottom. So it gets after those three edit texts. Click on the button and let's make the margin on the left 20, on the right 20. And let's have a top margin of 30 to move it a bit down. Now on that button also, let's go to the background property and use that buttons XML again. So we're going to go to drawable buttons so that our buttons all look the same. We will go down and set the text style to bold and the text color to hash one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Right, so there we have the button, and on the button, the text that we can have on the button will be create new contact. Right, so this is then basically the layout for our new contact. So let's give them IDs. This one I will name ET name. This one I will name ET, let's call it number. And this one will be ET mail. Right, and then for the button, that one will be BTN. Uh, let's call, let's say, new contact. BTN new contact. So we've got ET name, uh, ET number, ET mail, and BTN new contact. So for these components, let's just quickly go now to that activity. I'm going to close down the main activity now that we have some space here at the top. And we're going to go to new contact. Now in new contact, let's set up those components quickly. So we've got one button, which we'll call... What did I call it now? BTN new contact. BTN new contact. Then we'll have the three edit texts, ET name, ET number, and ET mail. ET name, ET number, and ET mail. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, ET mail. Okay, so there's the components, and we'll quickly set them up in coding. So we're going to say ET name equals find the view by its ID and it's going to be ET name then also ET number will be find the view by its ID r.id.et dot ET number and then also ET mail will be find the view by its ID r.id.et dot ED ET mail okay so there's all the components except for the button so let's set the button also and that will be find the view by its ID r.id.et dot btn new contact okay so now for the button we're going to say btn new contact dot set on click listener new on click listener and this is what will happen when we click the button so i'm going to leave it there we will do this in, in, a, in another video so for this video we'll just set up all the the layout files now remember that we said that this one has the login progress and tv load so there's a few things that we need to set up in new contact as well so go to that word document again and we go down where we copied, and this must come in the activity. So I'm going to copy that, go back to Android Studio, and paste it there inside of your new contact activity. Alt-Enter if there's an import that's needed. Okay, so now the next part, let's go to the Word document again. We'll be setting it up by the Find View by ID. So let's do it here. Right, so that part is done. And then the last part is just the method that we take from there until the bottom and we copy it. So now that part there, just paste it. Okay, so there's just a few alt enters that we need to do. Alt enter for the import. Uh, that one is imported, import, import, and then we should be done. Okay, so for this class, new contact, then we are fine. We've got the layout done. We've got the, um, the whole activity. Everything is linked up. So in the next video, we can come back and we can start coding to create a new contact. Okay, so new contact is done. We are fine with new contact. Let's go to contact list now. So in contact list, also, we want to show the progress here for the user. So what we can do then is to go back to that Word document again have the same layout there, copy it, go back into text, and let's have that same layout there. I'm going to remove that part, and then also I'm going to set the background property to primary light. Okay, so that's the layout for it. Now uh, you can see that we've got login progress and TV load there. So now for the rest of what we want to do here is to basically just show at the top this is the list of all the contacts and then we have a list view there so let's have a text view which we drag into the screen let's drag it into that login form all right let's zoom in a bit now for this text view let's make the text size a bit bigger i'm going to have it bold and then the size let's make it uh, 36 is too much so let's make it 24. Okay, then that one also, let's move it to the middle of the screen. So we're going to set the gravity to center horizontal. That's fine. And then we will set the margins, not the margin. Yeah, the margin at the top. Let's set it to 15 or maybe 10. 
Then the text property, we can say contacts or list of contacts or whatever you want to have there. So that's basically the heading for this specific activity called contact list. Now underneath that, we want to go to legacy and drag in a list view. So make sure it's underneath that text view. And that's our list view. Okay, and that's basically all we need here. So I'm going to go there and call this one TV or LV list. LV list. And that's our list view. So just to quickly connect it in coding, for this one, I'm going to set a margin at the bottom to be 10 as well, just to move your list a bit down. Okay, so that's basically it for this activity. So we have that one as LV list. Let's go to contact list and set up that list view. And we call that LV list. Also in this part, LV list equals find the view by its ID, r.id.lv list. Right, so let's do the, the last part there. We have it in we had it in new contact. So I'm just gonna copy for the progress bar what we need for the progress bar. So I'm gonna copy this part and paste it into my activity and it adds the import statements for me. Go to this one and take that part also, or you can go and take it from uh, the Word document again. And then the last thing was the method. So the nice thing now is if you copy this whole method, it takes all the import statements with it. Right, we're done. Okay, so we've got two new activities that we created. A new contact, which will come and code inside of this onclick listener, and the contact list will be a list view where we'll set all of our data from back in this. So if we run this application now, there should not be any errors, but nothing will really work. So let's look at the emulator and see how our app works now. Right, so it's loading the credentials, logging you in, please wait. And then let's see, we've got a list of contacts and create new contacts. So let's click on list of contacts. You can see there's nothing in our list view yet, so we won't see the list view, but we can see the heading. And if we go to create contact, we'll see everything that we need for create contact. Right, so this is it for this video. On the next video, we'll see how we can add a new contact to back in this.